cuando nació Becky estaba yo un, con un poco más todavía de esperanza de que fuera hombre. <laughs> my dad, my papi, he was always there for me. Siempre estaba like there. Pero al mismo tiempo sentí como un orgullo de ser padre. Um, una cosa especial siendo la, la primera hija y, y siendo padre por primera vez. Me la quiso dar and I was like, oh. Kind of like a football giving it back. Like sports growing up was a big thing. She would just dance. She would just bounce back and forth. Y, um, siempre, siempre sonriendo. Lo que yo amo más de mi padre es su sonrisa. Siempre tiene, like, he's always smiling. Cuando yo tenía como nueve o diez años, eh, es cuando yo quería empezar actuando y bailando y cantando y todo eso. You know, we didn't have it easy. I think financially, as a family, we struggled a lot. We were actually living in a garage at that point. Uh, we had lost our home. Not once did my parents, you know, talk about like, oh, how are we gonna put gas in the tank or like pay groceries. Like they just always like kept it together. And my dad was the rock of the family. And it was her first live performance. I think it kind of sank in. Sorry, uh, she just broke down. And it was uh, I was like, wow, she cries. She was uh, ten, and uh, I was like, gotta get it. She looked at me and she's like, okay. And she got the scholarship. <laughs> but she would just like, if I do this, the result is this. And I think in her brain, she literally put that together. You know, now that you think of all the things she's done and accomplished in her life, which is, you know, as, as a fan, as a father, um, you know, a friend now that she's older and we've become friends now that I'm on the road with her a lot. And, you know, we talk about, you know, everything. Their teen years aren't that far away from mine. So when I'm like, Dad, I like this guy, and I don't know, is he is he playing games? Like, just just let me know. And my dad's like, yep, he's playing games. You better stop texting him. I'm like, okay, you're right. As she grew up, and I, in a sense, grew up with her, um, I noticed that when I was patient with her and I was calm when I spoke to her, like her demeanor was different, and she would be calm. And so, uh, like, she she has actually taught me one of the most valuable things that I have and use as a tool now, even as a boss, as a father, as a son, as a brother, a friend, which is patience. If I have, like, my teenage moment, he's always the one that's like, Rebecca, cut it.